Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. There are a million other things you could be doing, but here we are. Uh, I'm going to ask you two questions before you skip ahead to the exciting stuff. One is, what do you love to do? Think about it. That could be hiking. That could be riding. That could be mountain biking, whatever. My second question is, are you doing it? A lot of people get caught up in their nine to fives, kind of in that mundane routine, but they never actually get out and do something they love. So that's what this channel is for me. Uh, if you guys want to come along for the ride, that's awesome. But I love drinking beer, coffee, whiskey, sleeping outside, hiking, seeing some awesome views. If you guys want to come along for the ride, let's get after it. All right, we're at just over 1,000 feet of elevation gain. One method I like to utilize when there's a decent amount of elevation gain uh, is called the rest step. The way it works is as you're going up, your back leg completely locks out, taking all the weight off your front leg, giving your front leg a bit of a rest. You can do this at different speeds. This is obviously very exaggerated but it helps give your other leg a rest versus trying to go up and keeping tension on your muscles the whole way up. So it looks a little silly, but with practice, it comes pretty naturally. That's the rest step. Just passed a guy heading out. I'm about a half mile away from the lake. He said there's no one else there, so it's just gonna be me. It's like taking off a bra. Right, am I, am I right? All right, so first step of getting camp, as always, is getting the Crocs on. All right, now we can function. Now, we get the beer in the fridge. Brought some Fort George Cavatic Stout and a 10 barrel pub beer. All right, those aren't going anywhere. It is about 3.30. I'm gonna let the ground kind of dry out a little bit before I set up my tent, but I figure I'll show you what I brought in my pack. I'll start with the front pocket. I just have my, that's where I had my beer. These are my tent stakes. And this is the Vargo Titanium Trowel. We have my Keith Titanium Canteen and Nesting Cup fishnet. I put some uh, markings on it. Tarp. A little seat cushion. Side pocket are my tent poles. And that's where I have my pipe and tobacco. Or on this I have my fishing rod, smart water bottle, and my Agawa, Agawa however you say it, Boreal 21. You guys haven't seen the Agawa saws before. Great for backpacking because they just fold up right into themselves. Just like that. On the top, I have my Thermarest Z Light, and that is the outside. Opening up the pack, we have my food bag, hammock. And my watch charger, goldfish, gloves, notebook, pan and bowl, spoon, down jacket, bag full of stuff, 
extra clothes. Pillow. My tent. Rain jacket. Microfiber cloth. Other part of my tent. And my sleeping bag. That is it. All right, this is everything I brought for a two night, three day trip. Hyperlite Mountain Gear Junction 3400. Kelty Salita 2, two person tent, fish net, fishing pole. And I'll have links to most of this stuff down below. They're affiliate links, so if you use them, it helps me out. Keith's Titanium Canteen Nesting Cup, smart water. Gransfer's Brook, small forest axe, pocket bellows, high pro, Agawa Boreal 21 saw, little Falkneven sharpener. This is a little uh, fire match that I made. Some fish tackle, Benchmade Puko 200, and that's fire steel, cordage, battery pack, phone, and watch charger, black diamond headlamp, Bic Mini matches, and that's some fire starter I made with uh, jute twine with wax. In my pocket, I have a Zippo, my bear bag with all my food in it. Cook kit, we have MSR Pocket Rocket 2. A little Tokes 450 titanium mug, MSR mug mate, butane, MSR pan, little bowl, stand for the fuel. We have a little microfiber cloth, a Dory journal, uh, plastic bags, trash bag, uh, miscellaneous first aid stuff, wipes and toilet paper, a little Pactel Sawyer Squeeze gravity setup, the Hestra Fall Line Pro gloves, I really like these. Uh, for like knee pads, handling stuff by the fire. It's supposed to get down to th the 30s tonight, so it's gonna be a bit chilly. I brought to relax in, not to sleep in, uh, Eno Sub 7 hammock, the suspension system, my Kelty Cosmic Down 20 degree bag for clothing, my Helium Outdoor Research 2 rain jacket, a beanie, some trunks, Outdoor Research base layer, and this is my Outdoor Research uh, Puffy Down. This is a Thermarest pillow. Uh, that is an Under Armour synthetic, and those are my pant legs. Extra set of Smart Wool socks for sleeping in, and my Thermarest Z-Lite. That's it. And then I have fanny pack with some stuff in it, and my beer. There's nothing quite like that first sip after a nice long hike. I brought a pub beer from Ten Barrel. Uh, very refreshing for me, pretty cheap too. And then I brought some Cavatica Stouts. Since it's gonna be getting a little chillier, I thought that might be a good intro to fall. I'm kind of thinking this guy. We just caught our first one, but the camera was. Oh, there it is. It was a nine incher. Had him on, got him in the net, I unhooked him, and he went out the hole. <laughs> it is a quarter to nine, and it is already pretty cold. I saved that firewood for the morning because it's supposed to get down to the low 30s tonight. So, we'll see if I make it.
first cast. Got a little gay. Just wet your hand before handling them. He is just over eight inches. We're gonna let him go. Deep, deep, deep. What are we on? Aha, we got it. Well, now that we're out here, <laughs> let's fish. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, fish on. Fish on. Another little guy. Another probably eight incher. And let him go. There he goes. Fish on. Yep. That one's probably nine inches. I think we're going to keep him. This is my first time ever, ever cleaning a fish. So we'll see how this goes. Little bit of Kerrygold butter. My wife loves this stuff. A little bit of onion and mushroom. going to do it for the fish. That looks pretty good. Always wanted to try the fish tail. Not bad. It's kind of like a chip, like a buttery chip. Let's try a little bit of that trout. It's 
it's pretty good. So we got almost all the meat off. I'm just gonna uh, polish it off. fish bones in there. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to add a little bit of Burgerville garlic aioli. Here we have my first ever fish taco from a fish that I caught and cleaned. Mm-hmm. Yep, that'll work. All right, guys, thanks for joining on another video. I'm just going to get dried out here, pick up camp, and head back to the truck. I'll see you next time. This is so delicious. Ow.